Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a web URL desktop shortcut for users in your domain by using group policy in Windows Server 2019. I will also show you how to configure this policy so that the URL opens in a browser of your choice. Okay, so for this laboratory we have the Windows Server 2019 machine and a Windows 10 machine which we will be using to test if the policy applies correctly. So as you remember from our last laboratory, we had installed Active Directory and we created an organizational unit and a user within this organizational unit. So when we will be creating this GPO for the shortcut that we want, we need to have a username within this organizational unit so that the um, policy will apply properly. Okay, so let's get started. Head over to Server Manager and open Tools and select Group Policy Management. This is our organizational unit. We're going to right click on it and create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Let's give it a name shortcut dash URL dash IT dash help desk. So I'm thinking on creating a new URL for the technicians in this organizational unit and they will be using it to access the service desk cloud application from Jitbit, for example. Okay, so now once this GPO is created, right click on it and select edit. Head over to user configuration, click on preferences, expand this, now expand Windows settings and double click shortcuts. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Now in this blank screen, right click and click new shortcut. All right. And for the action tab, we need to select replace. Let's give it a name, help desk. For the target type, you will select file system object. Okay. Location is desktop. For the target path, here we will be telling this policy which browser we prefer. So if you want the shortcut to be opened in Internet Explorer, you need to browse to the Internet Explorer path. So let's head over to this PC, see program files, Internet Explorer, and select the I Explore executable file here. Okay, and click select. Now for arguments, we will be entering the URL we are interested in accessing, and it will be https. Jitbit.com, for example. We will also select a shortcut key. Let's say we want our technicians to access this shortcut just by pressing Ctrl S. Let's click Ctrl S and this will be entered automatically for you. And we also want a specific icon for this help desk shortcut. Let's search something which will be relevant to help desk. I don't know we can pick this one. Okay, this one looks good. Click OK and click apply. Okay. Now to see if this is working properly, we need to go to our Windows 10 machine. And the one easy way to apply a group policy for a computer without signing out and signing back in is to run this command. So open CMD, run CMD, and enter GP update slash force. Okay, so as you can see, the policy has completed successfully. And now I have this icon on my desktop. And if I double click it, The link opens in Internet Explorer just as we wanted it. Now let's say you want it to open with Google Chrome. Let's get back to 
Windows Server 2019. Right click on your policy and select edit. We're basically doing the same thing over and over again. So preferences, Windows settings, shortcuts, right click on the help desk shortcut and select properties. And now for the target path, we're going to select the path to our Chrome application. SPC, C, program files, Google, Chrome, and our Chrome application is here and click select. We're going to apply this, hit OK, and let's get back to our Windows Server to see if this applies. GP update slash force. Okay, as you can see, the policy has already um, been updated. And now if you click the help desk shortcut, it's opening with Google Chrome. A very important thing to notice is that uh, for this to work, please make sure that the selected workstation, the one that you want the policy to be applied on, has uh, Google Chrome or whichever browser you prefer installed on it. Otherwise, this policy won't work. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments below if this worked for you and see you in the next video.